I'm in But you must set the board before you dive in That's free game Valuable as EA on the PS And yes, we in the game Thank you, PS All our family started in the PJs The question is What the generation after see next? The lesson is Roll the dice and level up Why repeat the cycle? Rather here I'm better than you Then I'm just like you Once they say you better than who Then who don't like you? Guess that's just the selfish in you This ain't a rival Pray these words a blessing to you This ain't the Bible But all these verses written in red It's for survival But you hear all these visions I shared It's to remind you To do what you designed to That way they can't deny you Set the board Welcome back everybody This is episode 2 of the Nittiest of the Grittiest Podcast Yes sir, welcome One and all and all in one Welcome back, we're here again Yes, yes, first off Showtime you want me to hang it? Yeah, no, nah, I got you, bro. Uh, 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 uh. Don't be stealing all shit. Hey, we 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 watching y'all, especially me. Like I might just be out your window, like, hey, hey, yo, they, got it. Psst, they doing a handshake. All right, so for today's episode, mm-hmm. we gonna go there. Y'all want the nitty? Well, we got the gritty. And Ooh. don't act like you don't want it, man, because everybody out there be talking about being real and everything, but they can't handle the real. No, they can't handle the real, but can they handle the true? No, nah, not even that. That's that's Texas thing, baby. Can they handle the feels? Yeah, but that's why most people get pregnant. Arr- <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So for today's episode, we're going to be talking about dating. Man. Yep. That's right. Dating. We finna go there. The courses of dating. Oh, my goodness. Dating multiple people. Arr- you know, don't look at me. Don't don't. I don't wasn't talking about you. I'm don't, just don't, saying. Don't don't look at me. Don't I, look at yourself. But we, you know, we should look at that person right there. It's a brand new world. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it's kind of funny because like the dynamics of dating have changed over time, bro. Has it? Oh my bro. god. Because like, all right. Here's the thing. Back in the day, you know what I mean. In the 70s and the eras of the smooth operators and everything, <laughs> bruh. They just used to pull up to your house Sing and to wait. You. Throw they a rock be, at your window. You open it real slow, like, and you rub the little boogers from your eyes. Bro, not the boogers from They the be eyes. down there with the little guitar or violin or saxophone or whatever they play. Waking up the neighbors. Cats meowing. Okay, continue. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> and now, you know, you know, you know how they pull somebody? Look, you know how they pull somebody nowadays? Hey, skitty! You, come on, let me holler at you for a second. And then you got them females that that kind of react to that differently. That be like, uh, do I look like a um Instagram model to you? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a dumb question because she ain't look like that. The dude wouldn't be trying to holler, but that's a different Especially story these days. That's Yeesh. what that's where that's where the difference come in between old school and new school. Well, see, here, here, here's a crazy thing about the new school, right? It's too many crazy things. That's the problem. It's too many stages of dating. Because, like, honestly, like, <sighs> dating, it ain't supposed to be easy, but it ain't supposed to be as hard as people make it. Bruh. Bruh. Like, okay. First things first. Let's let's throw out excuses that men and women both give. Ooh. Ooh, this is my favorite one. Go ahead. Yeah. I just got out of a relationship, so I'm not I'm not looking for anything. Me next, me next. Teacher, pick me, pick me. Go pick ahead, me. go ahead, go ahead. I, I I know we've been talking for like a year and a half, but I'm not sure I know what I want yet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that shit like, it's like watching Cartoon Network your whole life and be like, damn, I still don't know what my favorite cartoon is. Bro, it's like, it's like going out to eat at a restaurant every day and not knowing if you really like the food or not. Bruh. <laughs> but I mean, like, and then, you know, like dudes, dudes be y'all the dudes be messing up for the good ones out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause don't don't worry, ladies. We we get on everybody. We get on everybody. Man, woman, if you human, you ain't safe. Ooh, pick me. Pick me. Um pick me. You with the red Nike shirt. Oh, okay. He walked out of class. <laughs> yeah. Antoine. No, so <laughs> so the thing the thing that get me about dudes these days, okay. And, and I'm sure all of my gentlemen that's here with us right now, and most of the the actual good gentlemen out there that's listening, 
the dudes that the thing that get me about dudes today is if she ain't got a fat ass, then he don't want her. It, it, bro, if she ain't got a body or a fat ass, then he don't want her. Antoine, a- after this episode, remind me to give you the equation for that. There, there, there's, there's a whole mathematical equation for that. All right. I mean, we only we. Hey, it's the nitty gritty, bro. So you might as well just put the equation out there right now. No. Anyway. <laughs> Don't, don't I'm not, be like that. I'm gonna be like that <laughs> because you know my you know you you know my catchphrase of the show. My grandmama watching this, <laughs> but grandmama know the real. Grandma, I know you know the real. You got that Florida blood. I know you know the real. But listen, here, here, here's the thing. It ain't only that because like dudes be only attracted to the body, women be attracted to the pockets. And yeah, it ain't really a difference. It, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Here's here's the thing. All right, so. For the women that's attracted to the pockets, I've, heard, I've I've been posed a question before. If you can't take me here, if you can't take me here, how do I know you could take care of me? Now, don't get me wrong, women, y'all have the right idea. A man is supposed to take care of you in a longevity, mm, mm, mm. but no, but not in an entering. Hold on, hi, right, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. What? It's just such a passionate conversation, you know what I'm saying? Then, then have some passionate patience. Yeah, man, look, <laughs> you niggas ain't got no patience. <laughs> but listen, like the way the way y'all go about it is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like dudes, even when they be like flaunting what they got, money wise, clothes wise, jewelry, whatever. I see what they're trying to do. Like, yo, I got this, so that means I got you. But the way you going about it is wrong. So let's get into that. Who, who who we getting on first? When you say the way you're going about it is wrong, are you meaning the way the men are going about it is wrong or the Both. way the women? Okay. Both. I, we Ain't nobody safe. I mean, I'm just trying to get myself from being unconfused. Uncon- <laughs> un- unconfused. I'll just mess around. Come on, dog. Wow. What is, what is unconfused? We, we're going to take a pause on tonight's topic. What is unconfused? It's a it's, it's slang term for next next topic. Bro, you went to college. What? Where? Where did they teach you that? <laughs> so back back to getting on topic. Oak Cliff right. University. So let's um let's let's go through the stages. All right. Most situations, you go out. Okay. You meet somebody. Facts. You give them a look from the distance. A long distance. Real long distance. You know what I'm saying? Then you wait. Approach happens. Right. But whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Let everybody know what you're waiting for. Uh, a couple things. One. To see how she is. Okay. All right. Because um, I'm I'm sorry, but she who throws if the most ass if in the club is she ratchet. And we we got we got other rules for that, but we're gonna talk about that <laughs> at the night show. <laughs> but then it's like okay, interaction comes. All right. We gonna speak on the interaction part right here. You ready? Hey, little mama, how you doing? You know, I peeped you over here, you know what I mean? Just, how about you come sit with us? Or some sit with me, right? Okay. Now, what is the first thing that the woman is expecting as soon as that's happening? She expecting you to pay for everything. Facts. But do you think the man should pay? Are you asking me? No, uh-uh. I'm asking the person next to you on your right side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His face, oh. I <laughs> no. I'm gonna say it depends, and and what it depends on is if dude really feeling her. Mm. I'm I'm saying for me, mm. like if if I'm inviting somebody over, yeah, she might be expecting me to pay for it, but if I'm not feeling you, then shit, kick rocks. <laughs> you better you better climb the top of Mount Everest and find your quarters. All right, so here, here goes my question for that. All right, I'm gonna ask a very um. A very interesting question. Okay. Not saying that this is my mindset. I just want to get my brother's opinion. Let's make it beautiful, bro. All right, bet that. <laughs> he didn't invite her out. She was already there. She was already there. And I just so happened to show up. Because, I mean, first off, I, I, all right, women, give me like 10 seconds. Why the hell do y'all be going out not expecting to pay for yourself? Especially when it was, it's only you and the girls. Nah, because I mean, it's like, 
Like, I really wonder. And hit, hit me in my DMs on Instagram for an answer, please. Like, I need an answer to this. Do y'all be getting dressed in the room together? Like, girl, I ain't got no money yet, but I'm find me a man to pay for my shit. Pay for my shit. And, and the sad part about that is, bro, I mean, me, honestly, I feel like they be doing that shit sometimes, depending on the place you go to. Go ahead. But the sad part is, bro, it don't matter if you a, a ugly dude or not. You can be, you can be, I ain't going to say the word I was going to say, but you can be extremely ugly. <laughs> you could be poochies in the face, bro. And bro, I look good on TV. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm looking. My, you you talking? You talk your shit. I'm just looking. I'm just saying, TV. like you could be, <laughs> bro. You could be poochies in the face, bro. You could be, you could be like ugly god or some shit. And if you come up to a chick, no matter the game, no matter what you spit to her, no matter how you dressed or how you look in the face, oh, I feel like the only thing sometimes they be thinking is, hey, oh, man, we got a free night out. So so let, yeah, grab, ladies, grab whatever you want, cause see we got a free night out. But la but ladies, let's 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 get on the men real quick. Cause Oh yeah, we ain't letting the dudes go. Man, dudes, you know damn well you be in the group chat like, hey man, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see some ass, I'm gonna see some ass, I'm gonna okay. see some ass, I'm gonna okay. see you know what I'm gonna get them digits. Uh huh. Get them digits All ten. And I just might hit, hit, hit I just might hit it And then you know. six hours let y'all Damn bro I, it's I paid been a long day. <laughs> I paid all that money And, and still ain't get the number Now, now watch this Now see I'm, I'm glad you said that Because that's That's like my number one problem With like paying for a woman Just because she moved to your section Or you know You, you talking to her Because you, you were paying for her attention You know what I mean Because like let's be real Let's use a place like our usual hookah lounge spot. Okay. If we, if we really feel like being lit. Okay. Right? Yeah. So. Are we talking about the C or the A? A. Okay. All right. We're All talking right. about the A. Okay. Now, you know, damn well, if you go to the A. We ain't talking about Atlanta people. You at least, at the least. Fellas, if you take your girl to this place where you know, you know what I'm saying? You at least going to spend about a hundred. No. It depends. At the least. It, yeah, least, and that's that's if you standing up with the hookah. <laughs> that's standing up, bro. Now imagine if you got a big VIP section. That's that's straight up two fifty. I mean, of course they come with a, you know little gadgets and gadgets, but so yeah. But that's a different story, though. But I mean, so so now, now, now peep this, all right? Now peep this, okay? So you know you 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 do that all that right? And it's crazy because in the back of Shawty mind, at least six times out of ten, six or seven times out of ten, Shawty thinking about somebody else or she thinking about how she finna leave. Bruh. But let's let's move forward with this. Okay, let's move forward. Cause we 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 gonna be here till about eleven fifty two talking going, about this one thing. Bruh, going about the man say, look, so, and so we now, ain't got that kind of time. So now let let's say <laughs> let's say everything goes well. Okay. The numbers exchange. Okay. Here comes I don't care I don't care who you are I don't care how cocky you are I don't care how light skin you are dark skin you are I don't care if your voice sound like mine which it don't but every man kind of has that one worry about that next morning text message okay so I'm glad you said that so I know you very well and you know me very well I mean I don't know we're that. brothers shut up nigga. anywho uh, <laughs> <laughs> anywho with that being said. Give me your time frame on the next morning text. From I'm a, when, from when you get the digits to message her. Message her the next morning. I'm a grown ass man. I'm a texter. Like I, I, okay, if I'm in that situation, yeah, I'm a texter. Like the next morning, as soon as I wake up, you know what I mean. Do my workout, brush my teeth, make sure the hair on point. You know what I mean. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the text message. You know what I mean. But I got a question. Okay, go ahead. How many of y'all grown men be leaving voicemails? Shit, not me. I ain't left a voicemail to a female a day in my life. Bro, but think about it. Think about how some, how like, that's kind of like some boss shit right there. 
You call the chick Shan answer. Yeah, girl, this is uh, Steve from the club last night. I I saw you talking with a lot of dudes. I don't know who you gave your number to, but I'm the one that you sat with. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just calling to say what's up. You know what I mean? Just, you know, hit me up when you wake up. I got some pancakes with some cinnamon, some strawberries. First of all, let me stop you right there. And the reason I have to stop you right there because I've never I've never met a Steve that sound like that. First of all. And number two, I'm not for to say on no voicemail. I know I've seen a lot of dudes getting your number, but um I don't I'm don't the think... dude that I'm the dude that you No, fool. I'm, I'm okay, so like I'm be real. No, I was, silly boy. I was, I was exaggerating, boy. Shut oh, up. Okay. Ain't nobody right. I'm just making sure. Ain't nobody finna do that. Except for you. Yeah, you. The one getting offended by me pointing. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> but so like when you send that text message, because I'm, I'm going to ask this question because I've been in this situation. Okay. How you feel if Shotty say who this? Oh, bro, that's a wrap. <laughs> that's a wrap like Christmas gifts. So I'm going to snitch on myself for a second, all right? So back, back in the day, I think it was like 22, maybe. You know what I mean? Fresh out of my first whole face. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I went out, you know what I'm saying? Met this chick. Mm-hmm. All we did was exchange numbers. So I texted her the next day. I was like, hey, did you get home safe? She's like, I'm sorry. I was drunk as fuck last night. Who are you? Okay, I, but she, she told you why she didn't remember you. She was drunk as fuck last night. Well, that night. That that last night. But, but you got to understand something, though. You know how stupid I felt? You Bro, knew, you knew like, she was drunk. I didn't know. Honestly, honestly, I didn't know she was like that drunk. You know I, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because I mean, you you know I me, feel you. I feel Bro, you. I bro got so you. so you know me. First off, you you know that I am not going to entertain anybody that is that drunk. You know what I'm saying? To I know for a fact they're not gonna remember. Bro, yeah, that's that's a turn off. Facts. Like all day that you got to get that drunk. You that drunk, bro? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bye. Mm-mm. Can't but, do it. Shot, like fucking tar. She she must have drank some more or whatever, but like so I sent that morning text message and Shardy just like, oh yeah, um, um, yeah, I, I was drunk last night. Who who is this? And I was like, I'm just somebody that you used to know. <laughs> I handled it like a bitch. <laughs> Cause I mean, you, okay, look, look, look. <laughs> Listen, you 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 know you know me now. You know what I'm saying you know if if, if that would if that would have happened to me today, swerve. Bro, you, you know me. You know how I be responding. Swerve. Yeah. It's a hard swerve. But that's a different story. So I'll be wondering, do women, like, what are women's typical reactions whenever they get that text message? Uh, uh, like, like, if, like, if watch, a woman texts a dude and a dude be like, oh, I'm sorry, who this? Watch it. You ready? No, 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 no. Like, like, hey, yeah, good morning. You know what I'm saying? Zzz, zzz. Play the female. Because your hair longer than mine. Psych. Okay, uh, uh, I'm sorry, who is this? First off, if a girl ever responded to you like <laughs> That bitch ate an omelet that morning <laughs> Wait a minute, I love omelets, boy What you trying to say? That why, she, not, that like, why she sound like you But no, like, check this out, check this out Like, Shotty, like I be wondering, like, do girls really be think, looking at it and be like um, Should I text him? Like, I'm gonna flip like, a coin like, look, I wonder they'd be like, I'm gonna flip a coin First of all, people don't do people even still flip coins. That's because you child, y'all need childish. <laughs> First, of, okay, I, I, hey John, I guess it's people with long hair because I don't. <laughs> Bro, look at your head. Up. My shit ain't longer than y'all's though. We we not finna have this flame session. Grandma, okay. excuse my my language. I'm sorry. Bro, I, I, forgive me. Bro, my my grandma gonna whoop you with a wooden spoon. I'm sorry. I just I just <laughs> came back from Galveston and that water getting to me. She don't know what Galveston is. Oh. She in Florida, bro. We got actual beaches there. I, yeah, ours is wonky. It's it's poochies. We, we it's 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 that walks of hatchy water. <laughs> anyway, so let let's get past that. <laughs> but like, I really I really be wondering, like, do like do girls actually like get excited when the man texts them in the next day, or do they be like feeling obligated to just text back? Because that's gonna that's gonna lead to my next question. It, it, I mean that's it's kind of so so, bro. It's just like it's just like the next morning when a dude like, damn, I did get shorty number last night, but I look at you and be like, damn, bro, should I text her? Like, should is it too fast, or is it you know is it too late? Like, you, you like, know, do you know you, what have I'm... you ever had friends that you went out with 
And you know, all y'all would y'all see a group of chicks or whatever the case is, and y'all two walk up to the little two chicks that you're interested in, y'all get the number. Then the next morning after the night over, you be like, damn, should I should I text her right now? Do I would I look too thirsty? Um, first things first, I'm not gonna be having a conversation with a grown ass man that early in the morning. I, bruh. And if any if any of my homies ever texting me in the morning, like, yo, should I text Shawty? I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm on your ass. I mean, we talked early. One time that like you, okay, you know that, what time I'm talking about. That that was a different time. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, was, that was a different. Time. You was like, hey, bro. I was like, I was like, hey, bro, what's up? You were like, we're not gonna tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, all right, can exclude can that. Do, exclude that. Hey, uh, pr- production team, can y'all do me a favor and th- just like smack this man's neck real quick with a wire? <laughs> Shit, yeah, no, I got my hood down. <laughs> But anyway, so 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 back to the shit. Like, I I mean, I, I feel like there's probably a group of dudes who be like texting, like, "Yo, I don't know if I should text this chick or not," because honestly, you opening the door for some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Then again, but, it's just like, why the hell get the number anyways if you ain't gonna reach out to shout it? But that's gonna lead to the next next move right here. You okay. ready? Yeah. What's up? This right here to me is the make or break. All right. First dates. Ooh. Cause you know me. I like all right, first off, like we we gonna we gonna take all the little childish men out of this conversation because y'all not gonna make it this far. Y'all gonna be wondering why you ain't smashed that light. You know what I'm saying? And we over here laughing because you know don't nobody want no little kid. So we for the grown men, the real men that actually want a real woman, that do the first text message okay. and then make the first move to say, you know what? Let me get to know you outside of the club scene. Let me take you on a date. I said the D word. Date. No. Denny's. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I, mean, anyway. you on, I love you, bro, but you on your own on that one. You, you ain't never had Denny's put a burger? You say what? Denny's got to build your own burger. Bro, I'm not going to Denny's for no burger, bro. I'm going for some pancakes and some why would some you, bacon. Why would you? We we gonna talk we, after the podcast, bro. Yeah, we gonna have to, bro, because you tripping, bro. You you gotta have to. You so I be build your own burger. Yo, my my dude, would you, would you get a build your own burger from 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 a uh, Denny? Yeah, you. Yeah, no, no, no say it out loud. See, say it out loud. Yes. Thank hey, you. See, you gonna have to you gonna have to sit on a donut chair, bro. Cause bro, you tripping. Yeah. <laughs> we talking about dating right now, all right? <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, look, look, look. I, I, ladies, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm with y'all, bro. Like, how you feel if a nigga take you on the first date to Denny's? I mean, what if your first and say, "Hey, look, I just wanted to see if you can appreciate the finer things. You could build your own burger and get whatever the hell you want on that burger." First off, girl. First off what is your what if your first date was after y'all left the club? Boom. Drunk romance. But I just did that. But bro, I get that. I threw romance in the air. But at the same time, <laughs> if it's right out of the club, nigga, we going to IHOP. They got all the special five pancakes and they sausages and bacon's be fresh time out, cut. Time out. We both sleeping. Waffle House over, but what's up? Okay, I'll give you that. Except right, so Waffle back. House cheese. Waffle House cheese. They, y'all need y'all need to do something. If we right ever there. get sponsored by Waffle House, I'm gonna make them slap you with cheese. As long as it's like <laughs> sharp cheddar or some shit, not that that American. What's that? That we not I mean, talking about that craft shit. I don't want that. Craft so anyway, shit, man. anywho, so go ahead, bro. Let, let, let's talk about the first date. All right, let's go. Now, personally, I feel like he said personally. He said personally. Go ahead. <laughs> with 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 the tax bracket that I'm at, that I'm at in life. Yeah, I said tax bracket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> look, 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 hey, hey, look, look, look. With my tax bracket, Shotty, you gonna get some lunchables. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm joking. I'm joking. And the hell gonna have a Snickers in it. I'm gonna take it though. <laughs> but no, like, like, all right. So I wonder, from a man's perspective, what would be like the ideal first date spot? And from a woman's perspective, what is your expectation? Because honestly, I really feel like. I'm not going to ask what a woman's ideal spot is. I'm going to ask what the expectation is because mm. men have every man has been in a situation where they thought of the best what they thought was the best idea to go for a date and Shotty looking at him like 
uh, I don't. The fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like, and honestly, I think both sides. I mean, they're 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 both sides to blame. Only they both get a pass on the first date, though. Honestly, ladies, please don't get mad at your man's on where he takes you on the first date if it is over a certain level. Now, if homies say, yo, we finna go get some some Happy Meals, then you might want to raise some eyebrows, all right? But, like, let's say homie want to do something romantic, and he says, first date, I'm finna take you to downtown Dallas, and we gonna ride horses. And in your mind, you like, I don't like horses. If Even if that's the case... Just don't do get it. mad with him. Don't, no, I'm not gonna say don't do it, but don't I, get I mad at him. I didn't say don't do it. Oh, I didn't say don't do it. I would say like don't get mad. And men, honestly, men, like you ain't gotta go all out, but you ain't gotta half-ass the dates either. All right, if you take your old girl Dennis. to Chili's, <laughs> <laughs> let let the record reflect. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take your girl to like Red Lobster. Then I'm gonna raise some eyebrows. I don't and you care. better bring some Pepto Bismol. You know, Red Lobster is the breakup spot. Yeah, them, <laughs> them biscuits. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so anyway. But so, I mean, go let, ahead. Sorry. Let me ask you this, T. Let me talk, ask you this. Talk to me, A. So, do you feel like, and, and I, I want the answer from women on this question too, but do you feel like it's okay for a man? To ask a woman What her ideal of a first date is But and Before you answer that I ask that because A lot of women Want they man to Be spontaneous Okay now watch this Watch For this. a first date No 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 that's I'm glad you asked that question That's code When they say be spontaneous That means you better been paying attention to what I've been telling you yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Men, know your woman. Even if y'all knew, you and, better start observing. And just don't know how she look when she walk away. Because it's so easy to remember that, that scene. I mean, it's real. All right, so anyway. <clears throat> like, okay. If a man, honestly, if you have to ask your woman, what is your ideal first date? To me, that shows that you're not paying attention to her. But what if y'all just met, though? Hmm? What if I'm, going just met? A, I'm going off a just so, met status. Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Should your first date be that fast to where you don't know, though? I mean, Cause it, I mean it depends. I mean, because, like, he, he kind of looking iffy, too. You know what I'm saying? But, here, okay, so here's the thing. Here's what, the thing. what if she live What if she live in fucking Minnesota or some shit, and you ain't going to see her for four, five, six months? I see what you just did there. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I see what you did. Yeah, Anto, 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 come on. <laughs> All right, so if that's the case, then I mean, don't waste time. That's what I'm saying. But, <laughs> but I mean, here's the hey, thing. Hey, you need to be popping at four o'clock, man. You better. But look, here's your own burger. Man. So, so here's here's the thing with that, though. You know what I mean? Um, there's ideal things that men know that women like. All right. First things first. She gonna like tacos. She's gonna like wings. She's gonna like drinks. Until they give her gas, and you're not gonna like her. <laughs> I mean, but that once you hit the end game with the woman, you're gonna have to deal with that. But that's that's a different topic. That comes. That's Avengers. Almost, almost. You know I'm a comic book nerd, bro. Don't don't do that. I'm just don't, saying, bro. They know saying in this shit, bro. Like Stanos. Anyway, <laughs> I'm from the hood. We say Thanos. <laughs> but no, so 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 back to your question. Honestly, personally, what I feel like is you should have enough observational facts on a woman before you ask on her first date. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's women. Y'all are smart. You know what I mean? Y'all are smart, and the people that have raised y'all have taught y'all well because women know exactly what they want, whether they say they do or they don't. Personally, I feel like if a woman tells you she don't know what she wants, that's her way of indirectly telling you she don't want you. That? But think about this, all right? So one, one thing about a woman is that she's going to tell you 
what she wants indirectly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like certain subtle messages are going to be like indications of what she wants. Mm -hmm. Like think about this. All right. Let's say you met, let's say you met Shawty on Friday. You text a Saturday and then y'all start actually communicating on Sunday. And let's say Shawty ran to me like, I'm hungry. I want some wings. What is she really saying? <clears throat> oh, no one wants to answer? Okay, bet. What she's really saying is, get your ass up and hold my hand. You, Norbit? No, nobody, nobody seen Norbit? Are you serious? Yeah, bro, but what but, the fuck? What you mean? What, the, what, what you mean that? Like, I got you, bro. No, you don't. Go ahead, do your thing, Charlie. Listen, <laughs> what, so what I'm saying is, can we can we block the cameras off for like a five minute fight? <laughs> Wait, <on this>, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but for real though, like a woman, a woman is going. She a woman has her ways of telling you what she wants and what she likes. Mm-hmm. I would say pay attention to that. If she ain't giving you no signs, then I don't see why you still texting her. Like, because if if she ain't giving you no signs, that means she ain't texting you. And if she ain't texting you, I don't see why you still trying. Facts. So, what I have to ask is, how do you feel? About somebody that you're talking to, um, making it hard to get to know them. Yes, mm. exact words. Like, like you doing, you pulling out, like you pulling out all the stunts. Like, see, you got your little journal and everything of everything you gonna conversate about all this shit, and you you texting long paragraphs if she don't like to talk on the phone, for example, long paragraphs, and all you get back is K, or and it's something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like how how as a man, how does that make you feel? That means that she has broken the rule. And and please tell the people what that rule is. Oh, I get two mics. <clears throat> Listen, for me personally, three one word texts. Like if you if you text me a one word message three times in a conversation, then it's you don't over. It's over. No, I'm 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 deleting your number because honestly, that's like over. That's like the, that's like the next thing I was gonna talk about. Like men and women have very messed up ways of showing that they don't want to be with somebody. Yeah, bro. Like, what happened to the good old days where they just be like, bro, I'm not, I don't, I don't like you like that, or I'm not interested, or um, I think Jasmine Sullivan made a song of why people don't do that. I bust the windows out your car. Yeah, but that that new Jasmine <laughs> Sullivan song though with Ari Lennox, boy, what? That, own it. All right. Anyways, do you, uh, next do, you, do you need some time in the room? <laughs> Say shit. All right. So Jasmine what I'm what Sullivan I'm trying to say is, all right. So I've noticed, you know, I, I've been a victim of this as well. Everybody have. Right. The lack of text messaging to me, that's like, all right, bet. You know, you don't you don't want this to happen. You know what I mean? The oh, you ready for the G word? Go ahead, bro. You ready for the G? Go ahead, bro. I'm Christian, you ready for the G word? John, John, you ready for the G word? You're like shit, I don't know what it is, but hell yeah, let's go. <clears throat> no, it's not go. That's not the G word. But. <laughs> <laughs> Ghosting. Mm. 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 Hey, can we get a moment of silence for ghosting? Okay, amen, hallelujah, amen. Mm. 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 I. See the ghosting thing. My thing is, bro, when you meet a person, first impressions are everything. So it's just like if if you see me walk up to you, I'm conversating with you, everything. You had your first moment with me or whatever. You know from that moment after we depart, if you're gonna ghost me or not. So why in the hell would you waste my time and your time giving me the digits? Or or accepting my digits. I'm 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 at the I'm at the I'm at the disagree with you on that one, bro. This, this is so emotional. He about to cry through his glasses. Hell no. Nah. All right, so here's the thing. All right, and it, it ain't the fact that like, cause it's not like a woman see a man and be like, I'm gonna ghost his ass, and it's not like a dude. What well, I don't know, dude. See, no, wait, see. wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hear, hear me on this. I'm, I'm listening. I'm because listening. I don't think women meet a guy with the intentions of ghosting. Guys can meet a woman with the intentions of ghosting. Yeah, I agree y'all never heard of the term "hit it and quit it." Like, come on now, man, come on now. That that's uh, that's men thing right there. The, the whole oh yeah, I'm gonna hit that and never talk to her again. 
Ain't no girl finna walk up to a man and be like, I'm finna make him pay for my hookah and never talk to him. Man, you that? Cra- yeah, yeah. Do I really just not be talking to people that much? Bro, do I really just... And when it come to that, you 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 nonchalant as hell because I've seen it happen in action. Not with me, but with, with some fat niggas. Why they gotta be fat? Because they was. Because <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, so... <laughs> I, I think I might have just stood corrected because okay for those of y'all that don't know, when I go out, I don't talk. I believe it or not, I really don't talk unless it's to me. Head ass. All right, go ahead, bro. My bad. Anyway, I had to add that. My bad, bro. But no, like it, it's kind of funny because like women would tell a man, "You better not ignore me," because women, y'all are the queens and the goddesses of pulling up. Oh, you talking about uninvited? Like pulling up uninvited? Yeah, not in a good way. Oh, okay. I'm talking about on some like she want to smoke kind of way. But, but let there be a few things about the man. And don't, n- niggas, you do this too. They but let they the, do. They, let, I mean, let, let's, let's be real. There's just those few things that are just like, all right, you know, something go wrong. Right? You ready? You ready? <gasps> he likes anime. Ghosts. Oh my god, bro, don't even get me started. <coughs> he knows too much about cars. What the f- What? <laughs> what the f- What does that got to do with me getting to know you? Uh like it, it's it's stupid things like funny funny thing, funny thing. Go ahead, bro. I've gotten ghosted for playing a video game. Like I told I told a girl like, yeah, I like I like to game. That's that's one thing me and my shout out Smash Central. But that's like one of the things that me and my homies like to do. She's like, "Yeah, you a kid." I'm like, "But there's Okay, whatever. That's like me ghosting you for saying, <clears throat> "Oh yeah, what am I just?" You like makeup? Yeah, in the mall, I just can't stay out of the mall. Like, oh, bitch, I can't talk little, to little, you. Little, watch, me watch, in the mall, we we beefing. Like, what the? F- hey, how how bad do you think we would get canceled if the world found out that a woman got ghosted for liking Beyonce? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like imagine that imagine that you meet a girl and she's like, Oh yeah, I'm part of the what, what they call the it? The beehive. Yeah, the beehive. The beehive. Was like imagine that you meet a woman, she's like, Yeah, I like the beehive, and you like left on red. You know who will be? Trick Daddy. <laughs> wow. I mean, let's just be Bro, real. First off, he is from Florida. I'm not gonna have you disrespect the fellow. But he ain't from St. Pete. Okay, I get that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but and I mean, honestly, like dudes be doing this thing too. Like they be like, "Oh dang, she not. Oh, she she really not trying to link like right now, right now. Like she she ain't trying to like come over in demon time hours." Bet I'm gonna leave on red, bro. I gotta admit something. Since we talking about this, I have ghosted women that don't eat seafood. But that's a valid reason, though. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> bro. If you if if you don't eat seafood, I'm man, not gonna you, say you should ghost them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but like, I tell them. But it was it was if, a couple you, of chicks that I just if you're if you're telling them, then you're not ghosting. No, nah, I said, but it was a couple of chicks that I just just Casper. I mean, seafood is important to me, people. <laughs> like, like if you're a woman and you're trying to talk to me, one of the questions I'm going to ask you is. Do you like seafood? <laughs> and if you say, uh, I'm not really. I mean, I eat some of it. And if I ask you what you eat when it comes to seafood and you say, I eat shrimp. Hey, Christian, I watch can't this. talk to you. Hey, Christian, watch this. You ready? You ready for this? What is she allergic? I can't talk to you. <laughs> bro, I'm going to be real. Like, bro, like, okay, I always told okay. people, hold on, hold I want to die with a crab leg in my mouth. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me stop because we're getting off topic. But that's like me saying... Shotty, you don't take whey protein isolate. I can't talk to you no more. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Like, see, but it's, it's a passion, bro. I can't help you. Okay, bro. so let the record reflect that Showtime Rex has ghosted somebody for not liking seafood. I mean, it's it's the, it's the nitty gritty <laughs> podcast, right? Do y'all want me to lie to you, or you want me to tell the truth? If you don't eat seafood, door closed. <laughs> <laughs> that. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. I mean, I'm sorry, bro. That's, <laughs> but, but no, nah, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm moving, I'm moving off the ghosting topic. I'm moving off the ghosting topic now. <laughs> Listen, I, okay, I, got I got a question, question for you. No, I got a question for you. You asked all of these questions all this time. Oh, I have. Oh, I asking normal questions. Asking normal questions. Why are you asking normal questions? Making statements. statements. Assuming. <laughs> all right. So anyway. There are people that believe in certain stages of dating, it is okay to have multiple options. 
when does that stop and when does that start for you uh, that's a for those of you who are tuning in on the audio he is crossing his eyes and picking his nose why <laughs> why i did that earlier but uh, <laughs> no so multiple options come when i don't i don't see anything in a person like anybody i'm talking to but when I finally see something that like okay you know she she checked this box this this box this box, and she might check this box, if she checked that last box that's when you shut that talking to multiple people down. That, I mean that's just me. You ask me about me, I'm, so I'm, I'm telling I'm you about me. On this one, Christian. All right, so I guess this is a long hair <clears throat> fucking intervention or something like. It kind of is. So so here, here's the thing. Playboy right. Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> I'm just playing. Come on, bro. Who's who? <laughs> See, I ain't gonna even do that. Hey, all you gotta do is trust up. All right, so listen. All right, for me personally, one, I will not have options. And more importantly, I am nobody's options. But see, we, we, first of we, all, we, 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 I mean, we, we alike, but we different. All right. Cause like me, like, think about it. All right. Let's say you meet Shotty. Y'all talking. You know what I'm saying? But then you go out and she with another dude. And it hit you up like nothing happened. If you not feeling up, bro, it don't matter. Okay, so now watch this. Cause on you know, to the next. No, it's not. On to, options, like. It's not. It's not on to the next. Cause you know me, I'm an asshole. But see, that's, but that's I, see that's the difference between me and you. Cause I'm not fit away. Cause like time. for me, for me personally, if I'm dating a girl who feels like she can have options, then have one of them niggas cash app you on our next date. I ain't paying for you. I mean, I, I get that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you want options? All right, bet. Have have them pay for the date. You know what I'm saying? You want to hang out with me? Like, Or you can just do how you normally do. What, what do I normally do? You really want me to tell? Oh, my. Wait, wait. Hold on. Here. But that happened one time. That happened <laughs> one time, bro. That's the perfect that, way. That happened <laughs> one time, bro. <laughs> you. I mean... That's you wrong. Like, you you both. <laughs> I, mean, nah, like, I mean, but like, okay, so 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 here's my thing. First off, all right, because all, I feel like all those people who are okay with having options get mad when they find out that they're just an option. You know what I mean? Cause like, let's okay. That's, watch this. that's just one of a, of of a few many. That statement is borderline objective. Oh, that's fine. It's serendipitous, if anything. Bro, that's a. And seasoning from what's the, what's that chicken express? Serendipitous is not a seasoning. Serendipity. Oh my goodness, what it's called? No, it's and it's actually quite good. But anywho, go ahead, continue. Who who, who are you tossing <laughs> a flag on the play on? <laughs> like, all right, but no, what I'm saying is like, all right. So let's say we we don't pick no woman enough. Let's say a dude is dating a chick that he really like, but he got about three options, right? And let's say he go out. Without his options, but he sees one of his options with one of her options. Cause you know, you know, men are territorial. I'm yeah, I'm territorial as hell. I'm I'm territorial as hell. I'm, I'm not, not jealous. My ter- come on now, come on now. Let, let let a nigga be trying too hard to get with somebody that you are into, and you're gonna be like, oh. <clears throat> TJ, come on, bro. So so okay, bet. We gonna talk about that later. Me and you. That's gonna that's gonna be the nitty without the gritty, because gritty got some ugly ass hair. But anyway, what I'm saying is, in the typical sense, right? Do you not think that that dude would get mad if he see Shotty with one of her options, knowing that she wanted his? He might, but then again, that'll be his fault. Oh, I'm not saying it's not his fault. Okay, that's that's where the difference is between. No, that but one I'm, in a few. <clears throat> that's, that's not a one in a few. It's just a, it's a general statement. Oh, okay. I thought we was making comparisons. No, 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 no. Because, and that's why that's why me personally, like, I, I wouldn't like. You can do that. Like, you can have your multiple options in a certain stage. But when does that stage stop? Like, because there's when I, what I've learned from living out here. There's talking. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's there's courting. There's talking. There's dating. Okay. There's relationships. And then you know it might lead to marriage, whatever. It, it might lead to a ring pop. <sighs> if she bash, she gonna get blue raspberry. 
That's the worst flavor to give her. Exactly. So, ladies, if y'all get, get going. if y'all get proposed to with a blue raspberry ring pop, he, he gonna, gonna cheat on you. <laughs> <laughs> somebody else is get. You propose to somebody with a blue raspberry? Oh, producer oh, okay. got a question. What's up? What's up? Them the ones, the, the <laughs> women that say a man is her play brother. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. They smashing. I'm not gonna no I mean, no let's, no let's no, be 100 no, 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 real, no, no, bro. They smashing. No 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 no, bro. Come on, bro. somebody somebody you in stay that stay out of this. <laughs> you in this? Somebody. I'm not gonna say they smashing, but somebody in that situation has the desire to smash. It's just. It's, Somebody, it's, bro, bro, it's eventually about, gonna lead to the smashing. Nah. Cause soon as you mess up, it don't, it don't, bro, it don't got to because you can be teetering on that line. All right, bro, y'all niggas in love. Uh, okay, let me just say something. Okay, come that on, was ignorant ass thing to say. Come on. What if they drug you? Silence. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, wait, wait, watch this, watch this. Are they watching the podcast? I hope not. They watch my podcast. I don't know if they watch this. <laughs> so you can't promote us? Uh, I can't promote y'all online. Okay, good looking out. Good boy, I was oh, you about to I go to the kitty room. Now, Tell them to watch this episode. <laughs> 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 you know I'm petty, but no, like, all right. So here's the thing, all right, because like having play brother, play sister is like having work husband, work wife. Yeah, you're right. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I got a play sister from high school that we ain't never even. According to you, though, <laughs> they smashing. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, nah, she no, nah, uh, uh, no. Nah, that was a truly. She was like truly a sister. Is she watching the podcast? <laughs> no, nah, she she ain't, she and Cali in the military, bro. She ain't worried about us. But okay, so 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 here's the thing. Like, if now, John, were you asking in the sense of like if you talking to a woman and she got a play brother or a play, you know what I'm saying, like that kind of situation? All right, for me personally, if I'm dating a woman and she has a male friend that was there way before me i'll have a problem if she won't introduce me i get that to a sense but you being introduced still ain't gonna prevent nothing oh it's, especially it's, okay i'm glad you said that wait 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 before you say that there's a reason why i want to be introduced go ahead i gotta put a name to the face of my target You know Okay me. so we still On the same page I got you <laughs> <laughs> We still on the same page I got you Look 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 So, so uh, uh, Babe So so who, who this man That take you out to eat Every lunch break Bro, that's the problem mm-hmm. So how, how How do you feel And this is This is a question For both Parties If a man has If a man has A female friend and the woman has a male friend and they in a relationship with their, you know, their partners or whatever the case is. And the partners get into it and they run to their male or female friend. Well, how, how would that make you feel? Like, would that make you feel like something's going on between them or for, first off, or would it put you on ice? Or how would that make you feel? First off, OK, let me be real with you. That friend. It's going to take that opportunity as vulnerability. All right. That's that's what I was getting there with the with the play brother. No, nah, I mean, like, okay, so it's, it, I mean, if, you, if, you, if she got a play brother, whatever. You know what I mean? But if you crying and that man's about me, like you don't have homegirls, like I'd rather you go to your homegirls and be like, girl, you knew he wasn't shit. You knew he wasn't shit with his fake ass voice. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd rather... <laughs> Deal with that then Like bro Imagine this Alright you go to console your girl After y'all get done arguing And you pull her to a crib And it's a whole nother nigga Like yeah baby It's all good It's all good Play sister You know I got you You, you, you know how men You know how men Look 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 look, look they, Yeah yeah play sister You know I got you You, you go from a church hug To a A hug hug <laughs> Man I'm sorry that The play brother so, thing Got me uncomfortable bro I'm sorry Cause I mean That's just me Look Look. Let's be real, <laughs> cause bro, I just I mean, feel like I just feel like they be lurking and waiting for you to mess up, bro. But the sad thing is, is that those play brothers, more than the play sisters, 
Player brothers more than the play sisters have been waiting for like three, four, five relationships. But still, they ain't gonna stop them from doing nothing crazy. Listen, Ron Stoppable eventually got Kim Possible. Exactly. Eventually, <laughs> he still got her. But at the same time, though, if you and doing, Roof if has you, seen it all. But at the same time, bro, like if you're doing what you need to do as a man for your woman, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're doing what you're doing as a man for a woman and she still do it, then guess what? On to the next one. On to the next one. Because, like, me personally, and this is going to be our, our our next topic, we're just going to talk about the C word. Communication. The other C word. No, no. <laughs> I was like, like you trying to tell me what time it is? I got no. <laughs> no. cheating. Mm. 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 Capital C word. The whole word is capital. Like cheating. <laughs> All right, so like, here's the thing. All right, first things first. I know what you're about to ask me. I wasn't going to ask you none. Okay, good. First things first. This is all I'm going to say on cheating, and then we're going to go to the next topic after you say your piece. You ready? Mm-hmm. If a man did it, it was spontaneous. If a woman did it, she planned it. I said what I said. I have never seen a man that was like, I want to cheat on this woman. I have. Multiple times. You got light-skinned friends. No, these, <laughs> no these, these these was definitely darkies. <laughs> <laughs> was definitely no. darkies, and no, some light. But no. I have no. Uh, I've uh, had uh, people come to me and be like, "Hey, bro, she made me want to cheat on her." Okay, but that's like that's like that's like a threatening statement. That's like that's like when dudes get when I mean, people get mad because they they parents whooped them and like, "Ooh, I'm running away." You know, damn, where your ass ain't running away. You know what I'm saying? But now watch this. Watch this. Shit, I almost got away with it before. <laughs> when you getting beat with plastic hangers and all kind of yeah, boy. Anyway, really, go ahead. The plastic hangers. You had it lucky. Listen, I had it worse than that. Trust me. So, so this this is what I mean, though. All right. So, like, from what I've seen, I used to bartend. You know what I mean? And like, dudes, I would just see a chicken be like, Bet! target. Don't get me wrong, they still wrong for that. Cause I mean you got a whole you got a whole woman or you got a whole man at home, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the alcohol, bro. They ain't thinking about that. That's 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 not an excuse. I mean it's not, but I'm just letting you know what it is. Like, no, cause I mean my, my thing is it's like, why would you get that drunk that you forget about your your person? Same reason when you get drunk you forget how to drive. That ain't never happened to us. Can I get a high five? Get one of them cane high fives. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but no, like I mean, there's not really much I gotta be said on cheating. Like if you cheat and you bogus, you but, know what I'm saying? Ooh, I got a question. I, I need I to say qu- this real quick. I got a question. Let me say this piece real quick. Peace. Male or woman. If you cheated and a person asks you about it, don't lie to him. Tell him you cheated before. I actually, I'm, I got a, I got a deeper question for you. Have I ever did it? No. Oh, okay. Stop okay. asking my question. I'm just d- d- damn. I'm just, hey, I'm just saying. I nah, mean, I'm, like, I'm right here with you. So, so, from your perspective, Christian, I want you to chime in on this too. Stop texting your two options that you was talking about earlier. Like, hey, do not listen to Nitty Gritty Podcast. Uh, <laughs> Christian has a woman. <laughs> so, so, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm going to say. So, I want, I want both y'all opinion. Do you think it's easier for men to forgive women for cheating or women to forgive men for cheating? Men to forgive women. Until you remember that one thing she did for you. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, like, honestly, bro, like, okay. No, not if you ain't met. You can't, you're not going to get no money from a prenup. <laughs> Hey, hey, I, I owe you a neck for that. <laughs> <laughs> but not like, because like, first off, for me, I mean, whatever you decide to do at the end of the day is what y'all decide to do, whether you decide to forgive or not. But I mean, for me, like, 
I personally think it would be harder for a man to forgive a woman. You know what I mean? Because, like, all right, dudes, we have the ability to, like, really go to home base with a chick and not care. You know what I'm saying? We Facts. Can, we can get done, put on our clothes, and go grab some tacos. You know what I mean? But, like, for me, I personally feel like women would get emotionally attached to whoever it was. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, she can be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over side, dude. But is she, though? And, I mean, even with men, you know what I'm saying? They can... You know, cheat on their woman with somebody who got the good nana. You know what I mean? And they. My grandma is listening <laughs> to this. <laughs> hey, can we get that on a t shirt? My grandma listening to it. But, like, you know, they, they, they can, you know, be addicted to that. I want to keep going back. You know what I'm saying? But, like. But your grandma watching this. She know what we're saying. Dog, we're not going to do that. You got one more time to talk about my grandma. <laughs> 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 but like yeah i mean honestly i think as a man like think about this because let's say you take your woman back right after she cheated on you because since we have two different opposing views when it comes time for the time time remember when her legs are up here he had them there too yeah but you can always put them in a different shape while they up there you can turn her feet east and west, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like this. No, don't turn the camera. Like, no, keep the camera right there. Keep, keep the camera right there. Just, just no. Go, go back. I'm gonna just look at the Rolex right here. Nah, bro. Because I mean, I look. I guess I look at it from a reality standpoint, bro. Like, and the reason I say that is because with, with the way that things are going these days with men and women, that whether she cheated or not, she was good before. And I just feel like if she cheated on you, then if you take her back or forgive her, you need to do something different the next time. <clears throat> and it's harder to find somebody to. What's up? How do you make it the, the man fault that she cheated? What? How do you make it the man fault? You say you got to do something different next time because she cheated. She cheated for a reason. She cheated for a reason. He said, let the record reflect. If Ari Lennox cheated on him, he will apologize. <laughs> I mean, it's already Lennox. I mean, you, you can't even use that as an example. Now, if you say Roberta, I, nah, Roberta, you can go. Who's Roberta? I don't know. I was just using like a, a fat chick name. How do you know it's a fat chick? Roberta? Bro, what if she's skinny? I don't care. It sounds like she drove a suburban. What if she drive a minivan? That's worse. Why are we talking like that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so it's about that. It's about that time. You know what I'm saying? It's about that time. Honestly, I feel like this episode needs a part two. Oh man, two, 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 be continued. You'd, first things first, you'd, you'd, you'd. First things first, he Christian gonna be here too. I'm gonna make sure Christian here. He's gonna be right here, Christian. All right, so listen up. Yes, sir. We'll, 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 I have my people call your people. Hey, call him. All right. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I'm, I'm, let me let, let's hit, let me hit this with the closing statements because uh, it's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time. Yes, it is. So closing statements. All right. Overall, dating is not something that should be easy, but it's not something that should be forcefully made complicated. All right. Whether you're feeling the person or you're not, should be understood from the get go. From the jump. You know what I'm saying? Just make it easy on on both parties. Don't waste no time. Now, red flags. Should always be handled with communication before ghosting. I beg to differ. Time out, time out, time out. So, like, if this is a closing <clears throat> statement. I beg to differ. So hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, if Sadi said, I don't like seafood, you're not going to try to communicate. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to peace? Yes. What about you, Christian? What's up? Thank you. Okay, but she a killer. You got to go. Hey, bro, if, if her lips are blacker than my phone, what if she got low top all black Air Force Ones? I can't do it. She hood. No, I was just playing. I love a hood chick. But they, they, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, okay. You said oh. what? Yeah. For some odd reason, a woman, like, I, I get the time. I'm talking about slides with jeans. 
Hey, we got five what? more minutes, right? What if, she, got, what, what if she just got her nails done, though, Christian? No, come here, Christian. Come here, okay, Christian. Okay, come right, here, right. Christian. No, other way. No, come. No, man, don't right. put that man in. He in here now. So what you saying is, if a woman wears Nike slides with some skinny ass jeans, she gone. Yeah, she done. Not even talking about it. We out. Like, has a girl? My man. Time out. Time out. Time out. So like, what what was this a bad experience on this one? Because I I gotta know. <laughs> We were uh, out on a date. I can't remember where exactly, but I remember we were going out to eat dinner, and that's what she showed up with. And I was just like, mm. "Oh, well, yeah, I was see, fresh, yeah, I was fresh to death, though." But I was just like, mm. "Yeah, that's a cutoff, bro." Yeah, that's that's done. If we let, going the, on let, date, let the record reflect that Antoine is currently wearing slides right now. <laughs> yeah, but we all dudes, and we ain't on no date. So, my th- I, honestly, I thought you was going to go in a and whole I ain't different. Got no- Damn, I slide thought, with jeans. I thought he was gonna go in a whole different direction. Be like, yeah, man, she has some J's in the trunk and crawl my ass on the court. <laughs> 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 but okay, so some red flags. Yeah, but I mean, you should at least communicate with the person and be like, this ain't it. You know what I mean? Well, we got like three minutes left. So you mean to tell me if a chick don't like you playing video games, you won't you gonna stay with her and stop playing video games? Did I ever say any of that blasphemous shit? But but we hey, okay but okay. Thank commu- you. This is communication though. So <laughs> that's how I, that's, 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 I'll play the game two times a week. Like no, if I'm gonna play the game, I'm gonna play the game. If first I'm gonna eat seafood and you don't eat seafood, first, then first I'm going out by myself. First, first 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 things first. I am not. I refuse to put myself in a situation where I'm playing the game two times a week. Thank you. But. At the same time, if she like, I at don't the like same you. time, why you said like? That? <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. At, at the same time, like if she if she makes a blasphemous ass statement like that, I'm gonna be like, so what you finna do about it? Because we gonna have to just square up right now. Like if you beat me on Smash Brothers, I stop playing. There you go. Boom. Communication. She got that ad whip on a three stock. That's- anyway, bringing up that blasphemous buzz. So. I lost my train of thought. But anyway. You don't eat seafood. I ain't fucking with you, period. Ladies, <laughs> if you digging him, please eat seafood. All right? If you digging me, don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I got to be put in the spotlight? What the fuck? Because you, apparently you would cut somebody off for not eating seafood. Bro, yes. Anywho, continue. Continue. <laughs> I can't take this bed serious. Right. I can't. I can't take this. Serious. I'm really trying to like. I'm trying to have like my serious face going, and you you messed right. it up. I got you. So like I was saying earlier, <laughs> continue. <laughs> so yes, red flags can be fixed with communications. Not Period. all red flags. I, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I I cannot <laughs> accept ghosting as a like unless you witness the chick like somebody kill somebody or cheat on you. Then that's like the only time I could really say that ghosting is the answer. But you can really just be like, I'm not feeling that you're doing that, so I'm gonna move this way. But anyway, that's a different story. But that's what ghosting means. It's a form of communication. No, it's not ghosting. Why mean- you think Casper just disappeared through walls and not so tell nobody? So, that he- so you're telling me right now that ghosting is a it's not communication if it's ghosting. Ghosting is she disappeared or he disappeared. Not telling you. You said disappeared like they got kidnapped or some shit. That would probably be if y'all could see his face right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what I'm what I'm what I'm saying is, and we're gonna fade out after this. What I'm saying is, if you text a chick and she don't respond, you got ghosted. Which I'm completely fine with. That just means we wasn't going anywhere anyways. So anyway, that's about it. This is it for the Nitty Gritty Podcast. Expect part two coming real soon. Real soon. Find us on YouTube, SoundCloud, MySpace, Yahoo Messenger, all that shit. If y'all look us up on MySpace, we boxing. I'm going to tell you right now. But anyways, I'm Showtime Rex. It's my brother Loco. Peace. And we out this thing. Back in them uncomfortable places, we only hustle for greatness. Franklin and Ulysses faces, I'm taking it to new places. Call this divine immigration, more like divine intervention. You like the vibe, but can't chase it, I know.